Learning dialog or an LED promotes concept acquisition through learner interaction. We all know the structure of LED by now which consists of content followed by reflection spot and further followed by the discussion which is emerging out of the reflection spot. At this point when we want to go ahead in knowing the making of LEDs, let us assume that we have finalized content for which we are going to make the LED and we also have finalized that the mode of this particular LED is going to be video. With these two assumptions, let us just proceed and see how to make the LEDs. There are some very very commonly emerging questions at this point. The first is what are the options of various types of LEDs available to me so that I can use them? What is the hardware required? What is the software required? What is the time required for creating the LEDs and what are some of the best practices which I can remember so that I do not commit mistakes. Well, all these questions are important and we will try to address them through this LED itself. The moment we decide video as the mode of our LED, two input modes come at the top of the list. The first is the talking head video as we call it in technical terms which is the instructor speaking to the camera. The second and the most commonly used mode is the slides, what you make for your lectures. Now that we have these two modes, here is a reflection spot. Identify the instance in your content where you think talking head would be the best possible mode of communication. Second question is again identify the instance in the content where you feel slides would be the best possible mode of communication. When you are done with identification of these two instances, resume the video. Many of you uh, must be already aware of the instance where the talking head or the instructor video is used. The places where instructor video is more effective are the ones where we have some narrative to tell. On the other side, whenever we have definite takeaways and we want to emphasize on the content using the textual features, obviously the slides is a better choice. This facility is not possible if you have an instructor speaking all the time on the video. With these two things in place, obviously there is a question that we want to use best of both in order to communicate effectively. The combination of these two popular modes is called the picture in picture. This is popular definitely because it gives the best of the both worlds. You have the instructor to establish the connect and you have the text visible to give the emphasis what is required. Typically it is done in a way that the slide is shown full screen so that the text is visible and the instructor video is shown in a smaller size in the empty area available on the slide. Please note that reversing this particular combination can result in a bad situation. What I mean by that is showing a full screen video of the instructor and a small picture in picture of the slide will be not readable at all. Therefore, this choice has to be done very very carefully. We have seen the video mode as well as the slides mode and also the picture in picture which is a combination of two. At this point, let us have a look at another reflection spot and try to think about it. Continuing with the computer science programming course, if you have to show or explain output of a particular program or a software, which of the following modes will you use? Choose your option and whenever you are done, resume. You definitely can select the instructor video or the talking head, but just by talking about the output of the program, 
will not be sufficient. On the other hand, slides will not be able to show the change over time happening because it can only show a particular static screen capture image of that program. Picture in picture will also not suffice because it will not capture the essence of the output. There are many other modes available for such a condition. For example, we can have a screen capture of the computer which is showing that particular program. We can also have a handwritten explanation of how the output is going to be shown or generated. We have animation to simulate the entire situation. We can also have a talking head along with some graphics going on because just the talking head is not enough to explain this thing. In order to understand various such modes, we have another LED coming up explaining the details and the intricacies of these video modes and the do's and don'ts of when to use this. Thank you.